My name is Jack Traylon. I'm 22. I graduated Haylebury College in 2010, and since then I've been training and pursuing a career in classical ballet. I began my full-time training with Leanne Rutherford and Oleg Tomerson at Ballet Theatre Australia in 2011. I travel between two to three hours a day to and from the studio. I train six days a week for around six hours a day, plus an hour extra in the mornings to get in, warm up and stretch. Um, the days are long. We have a classical class every morning, followed by things like contemporary dance, pas de deux, where we have to uh, lift and partner the girls, as well as contemporary dance, um, going to the gym to work out, and performance rehearsals. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into making someone a dancer. You have to be flexible but strong, have drive, determination and stamina physically but especially mentally. I first really started to get a taste for performing when I was in year 8 at Halebury doing the tattoos. The school really gave me a lot of opportunities to continue to explore my interest through their performing arts programs. I did VCE dance with Halebury and received a Victorian Premier's Award for it. I'm grateful that my interest discovered at school has been able to turn into a full-time pursuit and I've always had the encouragement and the support of the school community. Completing studio training in 2013, I've had opportunities to dance in North America. I was briefly in the United States to study there, but had difficulties navigating the bureaucratic aspects of visas to obtain work and study. A performing arts work visa can also cost a significant amount, upwards of around $6,000. I explored opportunities in Canada and performed with Coastal City Ballet in Vancouver and also was lucky enough to receive a three-month touring contract with Canada's Royal Winnipeg Ballet, which is Canada's oldest ballet company. The process for getting work in ballet is competitive, challenging and also very expensive. Following our training and tuition costs, we have to travel overseas on audition tours to be seen by companies in person. There are so many expenses like flights, living costs and audition fees. Although I've received some interest from companies in places like Germany, Russia and Croatia to attend their auditions, uh, the upfront costs involved are significant. Locally, there are a number of ballet graduates looking for work in Australia, but with only three companies nationally to support that market, it's not job prospects aren't that great. Uh, the ballet industry is bigger overseas. The USA has over 50 companies itself. Europe also offers a lot more opportunities, with Germany alone having more than 40 companies. Being seen at an audition is the only way to gain employment. Since I graduated from Halebury three years ago, I've trained, sought opportunities and experienced working internationally with respected professionals. Having had that experience, I now know the best way for me to advance my career is to increase the intensity of the footwork in training as well as travelling and presenting myself to international ballet companies.